Honorable State Minister of Agriculture, Atos Selashide Dahan. Thank you very much for giving us this interview. Uh, this interview will be broadcasted on World Water Day event in London that will be organized by ODI and the Global Water Initiative Program. I would like to ask you first, what current directions is the agriculture development taking in Ethiopia at the moment? And uh, what role can irrigation play in boosting the sector's performance? Thank you very much also for giving us a chance to at least voice our uh, strategy and the policies that we have on groundwater as well as uh, agricultural development directions in the country uh, in this day of uh, the World uh, Water Day. For Ethiopia, the agricultural development uh, policy and the strategy emanate from it is film strategy that is agriculture-led industrialization strategy. The agricultural development strategy is focused mainly for rural community and at the same time also for urban community. The our agriculture uh, is one of the major source for everything in the country and the major and the major also the basis for the economic development of the country because most of the people are living in rural areas and at the same time also they are dependent on the agriculture for their livelihood and the economy of the country also is dependent on the agriculture. So boosting this agricultural, agriculture is uh, again boosting the economic development. Our strategy is that um, uh, emanate from uh, this uh, principle and the concept. On top of that, the majority of the community also are involved in agriculture as small older farmers. Uh, following that, again, we have also instituted the growth and the transformation program. In the growth and transformation plan, we had a doubling of production at the end of the growth and the transformation plan. In order to achieve that, the country has focused mainly on three areas. One is scaling up best practices that many farmers have achieved in the past and increasing the number of farmers and reaching all the farmers who are actually in need of the best practice in the technology. The second is focusing on market-oriented uh, agricultural crop production. The other one is again focusing on natural resource management activities that can boost again uh, contributing uh, doubling agricultural production. But that can only be done if we have uh, commensurate and sustained water that can help crop production. But water availability is, is challenged because of many reasons, because of uh, varying climate and because of rainfall variability in, in space and also in time. As, at the same time also to uh, increase agricultural production, the climate change that is again affecting the the agricultural uh, development continuity uh, because of these reasons. The country well understood and uh, the country could uh, also identify this is, uh, will be the major problem that can challenge agriculture production. So water management for agriculture is one of the major area of focus in which the water management can help uh, the agricultural development of the country in two ways. In one hand, our economy has we have indicated that our economy will be climate resident green economy and the economy that is green which can not also contribute greenhouse gases and contribute to climate change. Secondly, our agriculture has to be climate resilient. But resilience to climate change can only be obtained if we focus on water availability and if we focus on water management. What plans are currently underway to use the groundwater potential of the country for agriculture? There are a lot of efforts that are undergoing in the country in order to uh, harness the groundwater and also uh, support the ground, the agricultural development, uh, considering groundwater as one of the source. One of the initiatives is assessing the groundwater potential because 
we don't have adequate information and also database information on what are the available groundwater amount in terms of shallow groundwater as well as deep groundwater. We have undertaken, undertaking, in, in this case, uh, the assessment of groundwater in different parts of the country. So far, the Ministry of Water uh, Resource, Irrigation and uh, Energy has undertaken some uh, assessment in cooperation with our development partners. And we could also find certain areas that are uh, groundwater is available in, in, in different ways. The other, uh, once we know this uh, potential of groundwater, again exploring and harnessing the groundwater is an important area that the country is uh, undertaking the, and has established a different strategy that can help uh, in that regard. The other important is uh, to focus on how we can ensure that the household uh, farmers can get water for their agricultural production because the water that is used for agricultural production are both the surface and the ground water. So far, the, most of the agriculture has focused on uh, or based on rain paid agriculture. So in order to at least to have a sustained agriculture, so harnessing ground water is very important and that the strategy has also focused in that regard. In 2011, uh, the Ministry of Water and uh, uh, Energy has uh, tried to establish a groundwater database and that the taking groundwater assessment. Uh, currently it is establishing the groundwater information database system and I think that is a major area. The other one we have uh, and, uh, developed the the household irrigation strategy together with the agricultural transformation agency and uh, that can boost again the groundwater development in the country the other important thing is that um, you know most of the farmers are smallholder farmers as i mentioned these smallholder farmers have <coughs> almost on average one hectare of land but this one hectare of land can be supported through small-scale irrigation. So small harnessing and developing, promoting small-scale irrigation in the micro-irrigation system will be one of the means and water-saving technologies that can still increase the efficiency of water use for the crop production. These are again the other programs that we can mention that the country is undertaking to uh, make sure that uh, water is developed and utilized for agriculture not only for increasing its utilization, but also sustaining and uh, uh, increasing the household income of the community, which ultimately uh, contribute to the national uh, food security program. Looking at uh, experiences of other countries like China and India, the overexploitation of groundwater resource has led to some serious problems. Uh, what are actions are being taken in Ethiopia to make sure the groundwater resource potential is sustainably used? Yeah, before just I mentioned that one, uh, let me uh, come back to the exploitation of uh, the bottlenecks that um, uh, actually hinder groundwater exploration. As I mentioned, technology and the knowledge and the skill of the people are there, uh, it's an important challenge. In order to address those challenges, we are working with different partners, uh, especially with uh, a global uh, uh, water initiative, East Africa, in which we are uh, undertaking some uh, uh, assessment and uh, support the farmers, particularly the household uh, farmers, uh, in order to find the technologies that can help through research and uh, promotion of the, the technologies. Secondly, we are also working with other development partners like uh, UNICEF and uh, uh, others who are very much uh, supportive in promoting groundwater potential ODI, uh, the others which can also be mentioned uh, in order to harness groundwater. As I mentioned in earlier uh, discussion that uh, 
our household, our farmers are smallholder farmers. Ensuring food security at household level is very important. But food security, ensuring food security at household level can uh, be considered through uh, focusing on uh, shallow groundwater exploration. But ground, shallow groundwater exploration, again, that can be you not know, exploited uh, and uh, can extend even in a short period of time. Even the deeper groundwater that is existing, unless there is uh, a sustained groundwater recharge, the, the development cannot be continuous and it cannot be sustained. While at the same time, the economy of the country has to you know, grow faster as, as part of uh, growth and the transformation plan. Because in 2020, we have put in the vision that uh, in 2025, we wanted to be a middle-income country in which our economy has to grow faster and sustain. But again, our economy is dependent on agriculture, but agriculture again is dependent on water. And water is available, actually has to be available to smallholder farmers. In order to sustain that, we have to make sure that groundwater that we explore or that we exploit has to be recharged. We know the different experiences in the world, the Indian experiences in which they have exploited a huge amount of groundwater. As sometimes they were challenged with uh, recharging the groundwater that's overexploited. Luckily enough, water is one of the renewable resources that can be renewed. So knowing this, Ethiopia has considered a program that can harmonize both the upstream uh, users and downstream users. The upstream users are where actually the, the water is a major source, either to recharge the groundwater or even increase the river's potential and also springs. If we use the groundwater, then there must be a water that can recharge it. So because of that, the country is undertaking, has, uh, has uh, developed a strategy that is sustainable land management program that can support most of the highland areas through the watershed development activities. Minister, uh, how are you uh, supporting women farmers to use groundwater for agriculture? You know, women farmers are usually vulnerable, uh, especially female-headed households compared to the other farmers. So what special effort is being made to support women farmers to use groundwater for irrigation and to support agriculture production by them? Yeah, we, the, the, the country knows that uh, women are one of the most or the first to be affected because of shortage of water. The women have women from the women has to go in to fetch water, have to travel a long distance, and also they have to you know, uh, take care of the, the children. So the available water available to the uh, the community, particularly for women. For us, we consider that is a priority also for the women that can, can support. If water is available to the women in, in the near areas and the groundwater is also available at the household level, that can help promote, uh, produce certain crops at household level, even at home garden. That can help even produce more vegetables and more crops and more food that still support the nutritional uh, value of, of, of the, the, the community in which the women will be the first. Not only women, the youths are benefiting from, from this part. Because the high value crops can be produced at household level and also at home garden. Many women in Ethiopia are practicing that um, agricultural activity through the household irrigation development. The household irrigation, one of the first uh, priority and benefiting community from this are women. Uh, equally important are the youth. In some areas where 
the land have been rehabilitated and available for production. These rehabilitated areas of land are distributed and given to the youth and the women who have no any other income and other chance or economic dependence. Uh, that is mainly linked with uh, household irrigation development, which again require harnessing groundwater, particularly shallow groundwater that doesn't need uh, much of investment and which can easily be uh, exploited with the support of uh, the community labor. So that is the area that we focus. The water resource management, the management of groundwater resource and abstraction, this is handled under the Ministry of Water. And the agriculture sector is responsible for the household irrigation program and for irrigation activities, especially irrigation uh, with, related with smallholder farmers. Uh, so uh, what kind of uh, mechanisms are currently there to create the collaboration between the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Water, especially in the implementation of the household irrigation program? Yeah, overall the water management and uh, governance of water in the country is mainly the responsibility of the Ministry of Water, uh, Irrigation and uh, Energy. The, the overall the water balance, the water act, uh, based activities that are actually includes both the for irrigation and for drinking water for both livestock and animal and co considering and looking into the balance and at the same time also managing the water uh, and implementing the water policy of the country is uh, mainly the, the responsibility of the Ministry of Water. With regard to agriculture, the utilization, water, water utilization for agriculture again we, we do at, at household level and also at small water farmers and even at the bigger area, but that agriculture needs. Uh, on the base of that, we are undertaking the household irrigation development in the country. So small scale irrigation in the household, as well as micro irrigation development and the promotion is a responsibility of the Ministry of Agriculture. So we are undertaking the household irrigation uh, program uh, that is actually led by uh, the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, working together with uh, Agriculture Transformation Agency. The Ministry of Water in that regard will also be involved in assessment of groundwater, in particular in, in providing information. And also we have a task force and also steering committee that uh, look after the implementation of household uh, irrigation strategy that we have very, very recently developed. So we have uh, different uh, instruments like uh, task force that's working involving different uh, experts and the steering committee at the leadership level. In terms of water use at farmers level, the farmers have water users association, particularly for small water, uh, small uh, scale irrigation, and also for micro irrigation. The same is also true for uh, groundwater. In some areas where the groundwater is used by different farmers or group of farmers, then those group of farmers they have uh, water user association that can help them to manage in, in terms of managing the water and also just the water distribution and also ensuring equity of water use. Uh, I think that is one one area that uh, we have for water, water governance. The other important is that there are different institutions like partners that we are working together, like International Water Management Institute, in which there are some of their research outputs are actually used for uh, as an input for uh, water development in the country for agriculture. Uh, the other institutions that are actually partners that are existing in this country who are working together, those who are also supporting the water development for uh, agriculture that finance uh, in some cases the projects like uh, the African Development Bank, IFAC, mm -hmm. like uh, the National Fund for Agricultural Development and other institutions and partners, development partners, banks and institutions that support uh, water development and water governance in the country. 
so that that can still help uh, to harness groundwater and also uh, sustain the availability of groundwater in the country. Uh, thank you very, uh, very much, Honorable State Minister Atu Sadashi. Thank you very much for giving us this interview. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, we really appreciate that um, uh, the Global Water Initiative East Africa is uh, actually doing a lot of things uh, in that regard. I'm very uh, happy also to, to be part of this and uh, at least uh, share the experience of Ethiopia and the program of Ethiopia and the, what the country is doing in terms of benefiting the community and what the country is also doing in terms of um, dealing with climate change uh, problems with, with, uh, that affects actually the availability of water to the human, uh, human being. Thank you. Director, he's got a director credit. Stop it there. Stop it there. Have a um, round of applause. I think. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it, it, it's obviously a shame Atto Seleshi is not is not here to be able to answer any any questions. But as we have another um, two keynotes to go before we uh, go into our discussion, if you've got any you know, particularly burning comments that you want to make now on what you you just heard, um, you know, lest you forget them in, a, in an hour's time. Then, um, then let's let's hear them before we before we break for coffee. Any comments? Okay. Well, you can put your uh, hand up. I'm, I also have to keep an eye on on this just in case we have any questions coming in from our uh, online listeners. Um, let me just check the time, 10 to 11, how are we doing? Well, a little bit over, so I'm not going to say any more. Let's break for coffee and see you in uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>